Motivational Summaries presents to you the summary of the book Limitless. Upgrade your brain, learn anything faster, and unlock your exceptional life. Written by Jim Quick. One, mindset. Your mindset, your beliefs, assumptions, and attitudes are never pre-installed at birth. You've picked them up as you've gone along, and more than likely, they are a lie, limited idea entertained. It's possible to learn how to have a limited mindset. When you do that, you'll find most, if not all of your present constraints are self-imposed. You have to accept that you have the power to assume a limitless mindset. Your true potential is within your control, and once you understand that, the power of that potential grows dramatically. Michio Kaku said, quote, The human brain has 100 billion neurons, each neuron connected to 10,000 other neurons. Sitting on your shoulders is the most complicated object in the known universe. End quote. Your mindset determines how you respond to and interpret situations. Your life's experiences has most likely installed you in the belief that you're not exceptional, but pretty average. You've probably been subject to all kinds of limiting beliefs for most, if not all, your life. That's unfortunate, because you, like everyone else in the world, have what it takes to be a genius. Keep in mind that being a genius doesn't necessarily mean you have a high IQ, like Albert Einstein. Instead, genius can come in four different ways. Number 1. Dynamo Genius Someone who can express their brilliance through creative ideas. Shakespeare was a dynamo genius because he could write stories which reveal so much about ourselves. Number 2. Blaze Genius Someone who shines in their interaction with others. Oprah Winfrey is this kind of genius. She has an exceptional capacity to connect the hearts, souls, and minds of a very wide range of individuals. Blaze geniuses are often master communicators. Number 3. Tempo Genius Someone who can see the big picture and plot the best way forward. Nelson Mandela was a tempo genius because he could see the righteousness of his vision, even in the face of overwhelming odds. Number 4. Steel Genius Someone who is great at sweating the details and making the right things happen. Google co-founder Sergey Brin saw the potential of large amounts of data as a great search algorithm and started Google to use that. Steel geniuses gather data and then use patterns incredibly well. There's a very good chance that even if you're not an Albert Einstein in the making, you might be exceptionally good in one of these other areas or a combination of two of them. The key to tapping into your own genius level possibilities is to get rid of your limiting beliefs. Become a superhero in your own mind first. Albert Einstein said, quote, Everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing it is stupid. End quote. Les Brown said, quote, Life has no limitations except the ones you make. End quote. Peter Drucker said, quote, We now accept the fact that learning is a lifelong process of keeping abreast of change, and the most pressing task is to teach people how to learn. End quote. J.K. Rowling said, quote, We do not need magic to transform our world. We carry all of the power we need inside ourselves already. End quote. Eric Ria said, quote, The only way to win is to learn faster than anyone else. End quote. Wayne Dyer said, quote, There is one grand lie that we are limited. The only limits we have are the limits we believe. End quote. Mark Twain said, quote, it ain't what you don't know that gets you into trouble. It's what you know for sure that just isn't so. End quote. Woodrow Wilson said, quote, I not only use all the brains I have, but all that I can borrow. End quote. Number 1. Mindset. What? To minimize the limiting beliefs which you labor under at present time, try this. 1. Name your limiting beliefs. So you could start pushing back against them. For example, you might consider yourself to be no good at telling engaging stories. Start paying attention to every time you tell yourself you can't do that and counter with a more empowering thought. Well, just because I have not yet excelled at storytelling, that doesn't mean I never will in the future. Let's get practicing. Number 2. Get to the facts at hand. Ask, am I truly bad at leading a group? Or, where's the evidence to support the suggestion that I suck at this? You'll probably realize when you get down to facts there is no real evidence that proves you're bad in this area. Instead, it was just noise in your head. Number 3. 
Get proactive about creating a new belief. To replace the limited ideas you started with. For example, if you lack self-confidence and feel like you fall short at critical moments, remind yourself nobody gets everything right 100% of the time. Therefore, be proud of all the times you've stepped up and delivered when it counted. Just focusing on that will help you have a better mindset. Jim Quick said, quote, As long as you believe that your inner critic is the voice of the true you, the wisest you, it's always going to guide you. If you can create a separate persona for your inner critic, one that is different from the true you, you will be considerably more successful at quieting it. This can be enormously helpful, and you can have fun with it at the same time. Give your inner critic a preposterous name and outrageous physical attributes. Make it cartoonish and unworthy of even a B-grade movie. Mock it for its rigid dedication to negativity. Roll your eyes when it pops into your head. The better you become at distinguishing this voice from the real you, the better you will be at preventing limiting beliefs from getting in your way. End quote. Bishop Mandel Creighton said, quote, The real object of education is to leave a person in the condition of continually asking questions. End quote. There are seven lies, limited ideas entertained, which get bandied about when it comes to learning. You should work all the time to replace them with something better and more powerful. Those lies are Number 1. Your intelligence is fixed at birth. You either are born with a high IQ or you are not. The problem is an IQ test does not measure your creativity, your street smarts, or your emotional intelligence. The concept of intelligence is very fluid. It's not just how smart you are that counts, it's also how you became smart. Take your education into your own hands. Number 2. We only use 10% of our brains, which is incorrect. Scientists know all parts of our brains show activity, even when we sleep. The human brain takes up 2% of your overall weight, and yet accounts for 20% of your energy consumption. The reality is, you are already using 100% of your available brain power, in just the same way as you're using 100% of your body. The challenge is to learn how to use your brain power in the best possible way. Number 3. Mistakes are failures. Which is crazy. Albert Einstein said, Quote, a person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. End quote. There is no such thing as failure as long as you learn from what happened. Mistakes are part and parcel of the learning process. Making a mistake doesn't say anything about you as a person except that you live and breathe. Use mistakes as stepping stones to rise to the next level. Number 4. Knowledge is power. Which is incomplete. The reality is knowledge needs to be applied to have any real value. Or put another way, knowledge has the potential to become power. It's what you do with what you know that counts. If you know everything but never get around to applying it, then your knowledge is just theoretical. Think of it this way. Knowledge times action equals power. Number 5. Learning new things is very difficult, which is kind of a hangover belief from being in school as kids. Yes, learning about something you just know in your bones you will never use for the rest of your life is hard work. But if you're passionate about a subject, it's easy to learn about it. You will actively seek out learning opportunities and thrive on learning. Figure out the way you like to learn, which makes it fun and enjoyable, and you'll keep learning. Number 6. The criticism of other people matters, which is downright crazy. The fastest learners on the planet are children, and part of the reason for that is they don't care in the slightest what others think of them. They just want to have fun. They have no shame about falling or looking silly. The average infant will fall more than 300 times while learning to walk, but keep going. Never allow anyone else's opinion to run or ruin your life. It's not their job to like, love, or respect you. That's yours alone. Number 7. Genius is born. Which is the most preposterous lie of all? Tell that to someone who has invested 10,000 hours in disciplined practice over many years. Geniuses always leaves clues. And the reality is, there is always a method behind what looks at first glance to be effortless magic. Genius is never inherited at birth, but must be earned through constant, deep daily practice. Daniel Coyle said, quote, Greatness isn't born, it's grown. End quote. Bruce Lee said, quote, When people come to me to learn, they're not coming to me to learn to defend themselves. They want to learn to express themselves through movement, anger, or determination. End quote. When you accept these lies as conventional wisdom, 
you're giving yourself an unnecessary burden to carry around. Anytime you hear anything which puts constraints on your potential, that should raise a red flag for you. To have a limitless mindset, you have to replace any and all limiting beliefs with more powerful realities. Jim Quick said, quote, The French philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre noted that life is C between B and D, meaning that the life we live is the choices we make between the B of birth and the D of death. Being limitless is a choice, and that choice is entirely yours, regardless of your circumstances. You could choose to give up this power, but why would you when you know that you can truly live a life without barriers? End quote. To learn new ideas quickly, get into the habit of using the FASTER method. It goes like this. FASTER. Forget. Act. State. Teach. Enter. Review. F. Forget about anything that distracts you and focus like a laser on what you're trying to learn. Have a beginner's mindset and approach. Also forget about limitations. Your capabilities are not fixed, and you can learn about anything. A. Act. Never assume learning is a passive experience. Look for opportunities to apply what you're learning, and you'll learn them much faster. S. State your current mix of emotions. You don't have to be bored like you might have been in school as a child. Choose to have joy, fascination, and curiosity drive your current learning activities. Make learning fun, and it will be much more memorable. Be energized by what you learn. T. Teach the absolute best way to learn anything. The reality is, learning can be social. If you study something with the intention of then turning around and teaching it to someone else, you'll pay closer attention. Get a weekly group together where you teach each other, and your own learning efforts will get supercharged. E. Enter your personal growth and development activities onto your schedule. Your calendar is your most powerful personal performance tool, so use it astutely. If you don't put your learning activities onto your calendar, you won't get them done. R. Review, actively recall what you've learned with spaced repetition. Going over what you've learned at regular intervals not only enhances your recall, but it also increases the value of that material. Doing this will prime your mind for what is to come, which is good. Oliver Wendell Holmes said, quote, Every now and then, a man's mind is stretched by a new idea or sensation and never shrinks back to its former dimensions." End quote. Limitless Number 2. Motivation Contrary to popular belief, your personal motivation is not fixed. It's not something you either wake up with or you don't. Instead, motivation can be generated every day. It's the result of a repeatable process you can control. You can create personal motivation every day by following the recipe. Motivation equals purpose times energy times S3. When you combine purpose and energy with small simple steps, S3, in the right direction, you'll be motivated. Do that every day and you'll stay in the state of flow, the ultimate form of productivity. Motivation equals purpose times energy times S3. It stands to reason that the stronger your why, the greater your levels of motivation will be. If you can clarify why you're doing what you do, and why specifically you're going after a specific goal, motivation will grow because your heart will be leading the way. To get your goals out of your head and into your actions, make sure your goals align with your heart. Heart. Healthy, enduring, alluring, relevant, truth. H. Healthy. Make sure your goals support your well-being by contributing to your mental, physical, and emotional health. E. Enduring. Set goals which inspire and will sustain you during the difficult times ahead. A. Alluring. Set goals which are so enticing and so engaging that you will just naturally feel motivated to go after them. R. Relevant. Have goals which relate directly to your core values and your overreaching life's purpose. T. Truth. Don't set goals because others expect it of you, but go after something which is true to your personal aspirations and aims. In addition to boosting your motivation levels, knowing your why helps you live with integrity. It becomes easier to live a life that's aligned with your core values. You could do the things which give you an intense feeling of satisfaction. That's something very personal but incredibly powerful. Jim Quick said, quote, Purpose is what you're here to share with the world. It's how you use your passion. When you get down to it, we have all the same purpose to help other people through our passion. 
The greatest task we have in life is to share the knowledge and skills we accumulate. It doesn't have to be more complex than that. End quote. Once you know your purpose, you can then figure out your identity, who you think you are at your core, and your values. Linking why you're doing something to your passions, your purpose, your identity, and your values is powerful. Motivation comes from knowing your purpose and associating consequences with your actions. Jim Quick said, quote, Finding your passion is about giving yourself novelty and putting yourself in a new environment to see what lights you up. It's difficult to do that if you feel limited or if you're self-conscious about looking bad. So let that go and enjoy the experience. Those initial moments of discomfort just might lead you to an entirely new passion and purpose in life. End quote. Jim Quick also said, quote, Motivation is not something you have. It's something you do, and it's entirely sustainable. Motivation isn't derived from a seminar that temporarily pumps you up. It's a process, and since it's a strategy, you have control over it and can create it consistently by following the right recipe. End quote. Motivation equals purpose times energy times S3. Energy. Mental and physical energy and vitality is the fuel needed to drive your actions. To generate limitless brain energy, there are 10 things you should do. 1. Fuel your brain well with nutrient-rich brain foods like avocados, blueberries, broccoli, dark chocolate, eggs, green leafy vegetables, salmon, sardines, turmeric, walnuts, and water. 2. Add supplements to fill any gaps in your diet due to schedules or lifestyle. 3. Exercise every day. Remind yourself to move for a few minutes every hour, and also to get daily doses of vigorous aerobic exercise. 4. Kill your ants. Your automatic negative thoughts. Replace them with positive thoughts about being and acting limitless. 5. Keep your living and working spaces clean and environmentally friendly. Get rid of clutter, unnecessary stuff, and any and all pollutants. 6. Link with a positive peer group, people who will encourage you to be limitless and achieve more. Who you spend time with is who you become, so have a powerful and helpful social network. 7. Protect your brain. Avoid contact sports, extreme physical situations, or any activities which might lead to brain injuries. Take lots of precautions. 8. Keep learning, because this is great for your brain. Try and master a new skill. Discover a new language, embrace parts of your culture, or do something different. Increase the way you use your brain and you grow your brain power. 9. Keep your stress levels low so you can think clearly. Stress is debilitating for your brain, so avoid it religiously and intelligently. 10. Get more sleep. Specifically, more quality sleep. There is a direct link between the amount and quality of your sleep and your capacity to think clearly. Make sleep a priority in your schedule. Motivation equals purpose times energy times S3. S3. Studies show one of the main reasons why people fail to act is they feel overwhelmed by everything they need to do. To avoid that, get into the habit of taking small simple steps in the right direction every day. Small simple steps, repeated, are the building blocks of new habits. John Dryden said, quote, we first make our habits, then our habits make us." End quote. If you break a big task down into smaller steps, several interesting dynamics come into play. You'll find what looks like a big challenge will suddenly seem more manageable and achievable. You will be able to get started doing something right away, and that will make you feel more positive because you're on your way to your goal. If you get into the habit of doing those small tasks, soon they will become automatic. You won't have to summon up willpower but it will become part of what you do every day. That last point in particular is a key to more motivation. If you can make taking small, simple steps in the right direction every day a habit, this can be a major growth driver to make something a new habit. Win equals want, innate, now. W. Want. Make sure your new habits is something that you really want. It's virtually impossible to make something you don't want to do into a habit. Make certain your new habits is moving you in a direction you want to go. I. Innate. Embed new habits which align with your abilities and are easy to perform. Form a habit around something you're already good at. 
N. Now. Create a prompt for your new habit that will crop up all the time. Place prompts in your life that will trigger your desired behavior. Pay particular attention to your morning routine. This will set the foundation for what happens every day. Establish a morning routine which gets you mentally prepped and poised for performance and positivity. Thinking through your plans for the day, combined with exercise, brain nourishment, and simple steps like hydration, will definitely add to your motivation levels and set you up for success. Flow. The ultimate aim of becoming highly motivated is to get into a state of flow where you have an absolute focus on your goals and such a high level of concentration that you generate maximum results without even consciously realizing what you're doing. Athletes train to get into a flow state so they can achieve world-class performances, and you could do something comparable to become limitless as well. Flow has four distinct stages. 1. Struggle. 2. Relaxation. 3. Flow. 4. Consolidate. 1. Struggle. You dig deep to raise your performance level. This might be a workout regime, an intense bout of brainstorming, or something else. 2. Relaxation. You then take a quick break from what you're doing to move into the flow state. 3. Flow. You become like Superman and find your best work seems to happen automatically. 4. Consolidation. You pull together everything you accomplished and feel pride. To become limitless, you need to get yourself into a flow state as often as possible. You could do this by eliminating distractions so you can concentrate completely on what you're doing, setting aside enough time for you to work through the four flow stages, making sure you're doing something you love, having clarity about what you're trying to accomplish, a clear purpose of how you want to use your time, doing something that challenges you to do your very best work, avoiding multitasking, something that has high levels of stress or where failure would have major repercussions. The flow experience is one of the greatest natural highs you can experience. You can reach this state. You can zoom ahead. It's normal for people in the flow state to completely lose track of their time and place and for actions to almost seem like they're happening on their own. You can end up being five times more productive in the flow state. So logically, you want to reach flow as often as you can. Schedule enough time to get into this flow state each day if you can. Steve Kotler said, quote, To put it another way, flow is the telephone booth where Clark Kent changes clothes, the place where Superman emerges. End quote. Jim Quick said, quote, The flow experience is one of the greatest highs any of us will ever experience. It is also fundamental to become limitless. If you're going to become limitless, you're going to want to get yourself into a flow state as often as possible. Limitless. 3. Methods. Approaching every day with a productive mindset and the optimum level of motivation is great, but you also need to learn how to learn. You need methods, procedures, and processes which will help your brain excel. Learn savvy methods for how to focus, study a topic, memorize key facts, undertake speed reading, and think clearly. Get good in all these five areas and you will genuinely become limitless. Jim Quick said, Quote, methods are the procedures or processes for accomplishing something. In this context, method is the process of learning how to learn, also called meta-learning. When you go through the education system, we are taught antiquated and inefficient ways of learning, such as sub-vocalization and rote memorization. It wasn't until I mastered a new way of learning that I could finally use my brain to excel. End quote. There are five areas where you will probably need to learn new and better methods in order to become limitless. Number one, focus. Two, study. Three, memory. Four, speed reading. Five, thinking. Alvin Toffler said, quote, The illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn and unlearn and relearn. Number one, focus. Jim Quick said, Quote, focus allows us to train our brain power on a particular task to burn through that task. It's amazing what we can accomplish when we're focused. Conversely, when we're less focused, we're less likely to accomplish what we truly want to do because we're just not as committed, both emotionally and physically, to doing it. The primary enemy to focus is distraction. End quote. Nobody really learns how to focus at school. It's not a subject that gets taught. 
But if you really want to have a superpower, you have to become a master at focusing and concentrating on what you're doing. This will take time to get right, but there are obvious places to start. Make sure you're trying to do just one thing at a time. Multitasking does not work. Get rid of any distractions. Declutter your environment and limit the number of things which share residence with the place you need to be. Make a deliberate effort to calm your busy mind so you can get lots done. Use whatever works for you, meditation, yoga, etc. Set up a routine for focusing more intensely. Start by breathing deeply and exhaling your distractions. Make that a trigger for your new focus habit. Sometimes the best way to enhance your focus time is to stop and do whatever has been causing you stress. Get that out of the way and then get back to focusing on being exceptionally productive. If you find you still have lots of distractions, schedule a time for them. Say to yourself, okay, I will take care of all that stuff from 4 p.m. until I finish. For the next two hours, though, I'm going to focus 100% of my energy and skills on insert your task. Paulo Coelho said, quote, Whenever you want to achieve something, keep your eyes open, concentrate, and make sure you know exactly what it is you want. No one can hit the target with their eyes closed. Number 2. Study We now live in a highly competitive information age, where information is everywhere, yet we are still using the same methods to absorb and process it all. Today, our requirements for learning are much different, but most of us were taught that studying was all about reviewing material over and over and over so we could spit it back out during a test. Suffice to say, the process is far from optimal. The most successful people in the world are lifelong students. That means they're continuously learning new skills, keeping up with the latest in their chosen fields, and staying appraised of what other fields might be able to offer to them. If you're going to approach your goal of being a limitless learner, you're going to want to make study a part of your entire life. End quote. Seven simple habits to unlimit your studies are 1. Employ active recall. Whenever you learn something, immediately check to determine how much you've remembered. Make sure you're learning and not just recognizing information. 2. Use spaced repetition every day for four days in a row. Test yourself on what you remember. Verify the facts are sticking in your mind. 3. Manage the state you're in when you learn. Sit up straight and pay attention to what you're doing. You'll be more focused if you change your posture. 4. Use your sense of smell to good effect, putting a drop of essential oil on your wrist when you study a topic, and then doing the same thing for a test will enhance your recall. 5. Try studying with some background music, like Baroque music, such as that composed by Bach, Handel, or Telemann. Studies show music, which is 50 to 80 beats a minute, enhances recall. 6. Listen with your whole brain. Enrich your learning experience by listening to an audio version of the material being studied. 7. Learn how to take good notes, as doing this will help you organize and process new information in helpful ways. Upgrade your note-taking skills. Number 3. Memory Jim Quick said, quote, There's no such thing as a good memory or a bad memory. There is only a trained memory and an untrained memory. If you have trouble remembering people's names, making presentations without notes, or even finding your car keys in the morning, it's extremely unlikely that this is because you're incapable of doing these things. Instead, you just haven't gotten the training. End quote. The key to having a limitless memory is to turn learning from a passive into an active activity. Don't just read something and hope to absorb it, and then recall it flawlessly. Instead, always make sure you're paying attention to what you want to remember. Don't get distracted. Visualize what you're learning. The more vivid and outlandish your visualization, the better. Have fun. Get into the habit of associating new pieces of information with what you already know well. For example, if you have a list of 10 items to remember, visualize walking into your home office and seeing 10 spots where you place cues for the facts you want to remember. You can use a figurative walk into your room as a tool for remembering each of those key points. Make good associations. Make use of the fact that your brain loves stories. Mold the facts you need to remember into a story that makes you chuckle because of the vivid images you use. As you recall that story later on, you'll then be prompted with mental images of the facts you wanted to remember. Try it. This method works very well. Figure out some way to inject emotion into what you want to remember. Information is forgettable, but add emotion and you create a long-term memory. 
make what you want to remember adventurous, action-filled, or zany funny, and you won't forget it. Work at improving your memory. It won't happen by accident. You have to practice and practice some more to tap into your memory better in the future. Number 4. Speed Reading Jim Quick said, quote, Any plan to make your learning limitless needs to include reading. Just as memory is foundational to nearly all brain function, reading is foundational to nearly all learning. If anyone tells you that they don't read, they're essentially saying, I've stopped trying to learn. Yes, you can learn something from watching videos, listening to podcasts, or going to the movies. But it is nearly impossible to make learning a dynamic and renewable part of your life without a dedicated approach to reading. End quote. To become a better reader, ignore what you're told at school and use your finger to make sure you keep reading at pace. Just doing this will increase your reading speed by between 25 and 100%. Train yourself to read faster by measuring how much you would normally read in four minutes. Then set your alarm and using your finger, read that much in three minutes. Set your alarm again for two minutes and read at that pace. Then set your timer for one minute and read at that pace. After doing this a few times, you'll find you're able to read for comprehension quite comfortably at your two-minute pace, which is double your normal reading pace. Practice reading faster on a regular basis. Condition yourself to use your peripheral vision and start reading groups of words rather than individual words. It can be done if you practice. Get out of the habit of sub-vocalizing, where you have a voice inside your head saying the words you're reading. That's very slow. Instead, try counting out loud as you read. That will force you to start seeing words without sub-vocalizing them. Eventually, you want to see words as images rather than as a dialogue you need to say. Once you do that, you'll find both your speed and comprehension will increase. Make reading a habit. You'll find all high achievers are readers, and the only way to make reading a habit is to do it often. Number 5. Thinking Henry Ford said, quote, Thinking is the hardest work there is which is the possible reason why so few people engage in it." End quote. Most people think about issues with fixed mindsets. In other words, they adopt a preferred perspective and ignore anything which does not align with that viewpoint. That's fine, but a fresh approach can often bring better ideas and new answers into the mix. You can and should be challenging your thinking patterns on a regular basis. The reality is some people are visual learners, others are auditory learners, or kinesthetic learners who prefer to learn via physical interactions. You can and should make a deliberate effort to figure out what type of learner you naturally are, and then make a conscious effort to inject other learning styles into the mix from time to time to keep your thinking fresh. The other way you can upgrade your thinking is to learn how to use better mental models. These are just shortcuts where you visualize and manipulate big ideas. Mental models train your brain to think one way or another. If you upgrade your mental models, you increase your overall thinking prowess. Some good mental models to incorporate in your thinking are Apply the 40-70 rule, which was championed by Colin Powell. He stated you should make a decision once you have 40% of the available information. If you wait until you have 70%, you're stalling. Pay attention to what your intuition is saying and make decisions quickly. The key to productivity is to have a not-to-do list, all the items which are low value. If you fill your not-to-do list with items and stick to it, you can focus more time and energy on what moves you forward. The best way to improve your problem-solving skills is to study the mistakes they've made in the past. Doing that will highlight how to avoid these same mistakes in the future. Let your mistakes teach you how to do better in the future and you're getting maximum value for having made them. Get into the habit of applying second-order thinking where you ask, and then what? Map out what the consequences will look like in the future and use that to guide the decision you make today. Very few people ever do that. Learn to think exponentially, where you look at solving the root causes of problems rather than just the symptoms at hand. Exponential progress can be world-changing, and this is taking your thinking to a whole different level. Exponential thinkers aim to make something different, a 10-time improvement rather than merely better 10%. Get into the habit of identifying underlying causes and then probing some what-if scenarios. Try and conceptualize a fundamentally different approach, and then read up and see if that's feasible. Imagine a world without the problem, and see if that leads to some worthwhile breakthroughs. Plato said, quote, The life which is not examined is not worth living. 
end quote. Albert Einstein said, quote, We can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them, end quote. Jim Quick said, quote, If an egg is broken by an outside force, life ends. If broken by an inside force, life begins. Great things always begin from the inside, end quote. Jim Quick also said, quote, now is the time to start to use all of what you've learned in concert. Start with one thing, but start somewhere, anywhere, and when you do, I think you're going to be stunned by what you uncover about yourself. The limitless you is the person you truly are and the person who, over time, will become things you can't even conceive of now. Know yourself, trust yourself, love yourself, be yourself, and remember the life you live are the lessons you teach. Be limitless. End quote. So how can you get started on becoming limitless? Try following this 10-day program. Day 1. Faster. Put into faster action. Forget anything which will distract you. Act to make learning active, not passive. State. Choose to be curious. Teach what you learn to someone else. Enter your learning into your calendar. Review what you learn periodically. Day 2. Ants and Lies. Identify your automatic negative thoughts, ants, and neutralize them. Discount your lies, limiting ideas entertained. Fill your mind with positive materials. Day 3. Questions. Question your questions. Start asking better questions, which give you empowering rather than limiting answers. Day 4. Imagine. Write down the advantages of becoming limitless. Get specific and then visualize it in your mind. Work daily to achieve that. Day 5. Your Purpose Consider your purpose and how you relate to other people. Identify who you're letting down by setting limits and who you want to help in the future. Find your purpose. Day 6. Healthy Habits Take a small, simple step and create one new habit which will lead to success. Make this part of your morning routine. Day 7. Brain Fuel Give your brain some energy by eating avocados, blueberries, broccoli, eggs, dark chocolate, walnuts, green leafy veggies, etc. Day 8. Optimize. Optimize your study habits. Set up a good place to learn and remove distractions. Become a lifetime learner. Day 9. Mom. Before you begin any task, check your motivation, observation, and methods. Clarify your why and pay attention. Day 10. Lifetime Learning. Embrace the power of reading. Set aside a time and place where you will read each day. Consistency is the key. Limitless. 1. Mindset. 2. Motivation. 3. Methods. This has been a summary of Limitless. Upgrade your brain, learn anything faster, and unlock your exceptional life. Written by Jim Quick.